I'm um, Dr. Leah Busetich, and I'm also a wildlife biologist, but my husband, um, John Busetich, is an associate professor. He's who I'd like to actually introduce. He's the co-director of the Isle Royal Wolf Moose Project. He's the co-director of the Conservation Ethics Group. And he's the author of more than 75 scholarly publications on a range of environmental topics, including wolves living in places like Isle Royal, Yellowstone, Michigan's Upper Peninsula, the Desert Southwest, Canada, Scandinavia. John is currently on Isle Royal for winter field research, so he can't be here with us today, but he asked that I come up and represent him to read a statement in his place. So, John tells us that scientific evidence does not suggest that wolves should be hunted in Michigan. Moreover, um, every reason that has been offered for why we should allow wolf hunting is misguided a bit in some way. A couple examples. Some people want to hunt wolves because they believe wolves threaten human safety. On the extremely rare occasions when wolves do possess such a threat, the concern needs to be addressed immediately. But targeting precisely the offending wolf. A general wolf hunt is not a sensible approach to dealing with this concern because it doesn't target precisely the offending wolf, which does need to be targeted, absolutely. Some want to hunt wolves because they kill livestock, and Nancy did already present some information about that. Um, less than 10% of the wolf population is involved with livestock losses and we should be concerned with livestock losses. There are good means for dealing with those losses, um, including adequate husbandry of livestock, which you partly represented um, by the dogs. Already existing is financial compensation for the losses, and a Michigan law, in effect currently, that allows one to kill wolves that are attempting to kill or injure their livestock or their dog. A general wolf hunt is not a sensible approach to dealing with these concerns because, again, the general hunt doesn't precisely target the offending animal. Some want to kill wolves. Be, uh, some want to hunt wolves because they kill deer. Michigan's Upper Peninsula is home to about a quarter million deer. And wolves kill about 23,000 deer each year. Malnutrition kills more than twice that number during a typical winter. And hunters kill more than twice what wolves kill in a typical hunting season. And if there was ever a wasteful way to kill a deer, it's with our automobiles. <laughs> and we kill about 10,000 deer each year with our automobiles. Now, our lives are enriched by hunting deer, but a wolf's life depends on it. Wolves won't infringe on our opportunities to hunt deer, but they would ask that we share some with them. That wolves eat deer is not a good reason to hunt wolves. And I grew up in a hunting family as well. This is not John's part, but... Um, <laughs> Both my parents hunt deer. I ate a lot of deer growing up and a lot of other game species as well. But wolf hunting isn't like deer hunting, where hunters and their families are sustained by consuming the meat. You know, we lose our humanity when we kill living creatures without an adequate reason. And I know of no adequate reason to think we should allow wolf hunting in Michigan. Some are motivated to hunt wolves in Michigan out of ignorance of the facts, and people like Nancy and others are trying, you know, try to give a balanced approach of the facts. But I'm afraid that others are motivated to kill wolves out of hatred or callousness for life. And if we allow wolf hunting in Michigan, it will be more a reflection of our attitude toward nature than a reflection of our scientific knowledge. Scientific evidence does not suggest that wolves should be hunted in Michigan. 
So I put John's email, well, I put John's <laughs> email address up there um, so that if you have comments, concerns, questions, stories, please email John. I fully support the statement, and that's why I'm happy to be here, but he's really better able to answer the questions. <laughs> so, so feel free to contact him. If you don't have email, you can let me know, and I can give you a phone number if that 